ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਦੇ ਸੂਬਾਈ ਸਿਹਤ ਅਧਿਕਾਰੀ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਬੋਨੀ ਹੈਨਰੀ ਅਤੇ ਸਿਹਤ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਐਡਰੀਅਨ ਡਿਕਸ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਮਹਾਮਾਰੀ ਪ੍ਰਤੀ ਸੂਬੇ ਦੇ ਜਵਾਬ ਅਤੇ ਹਸਪਤਾਲਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਕਾਰਨ ਭਰਤੀ ਹੋਣ ਦੀ ਦਰ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ। ਇਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਫਾਈਜ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਔਰਲ ਐਂਟੀਵਾਇਰਲ ਇਲਾਜ ਪੈਕਸਲੋਵਿਡ ਦੀ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਸ਼ਿਪਮੈਂਟ ਬਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ। ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਸੂਬੇ ਨੇ ਪੈਕਸਲੋਵਿਡ ਦੇ 4000 ਇਲਾਜ ਕੋਰਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕੀਤੇ ਨੇ। जो बहुत कमजोर लोका लिए उपलब्ध होणगे एंड होपफुली दैट गिव्स अस सम ऑप्टिमिज्म फॉर आवर फ्यूचर एज वेल आई वांट टू स्टार्ट ऑफ टुडे बाय टॉकिंग अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट आवर ट्रीटमेंट अपडेट सो एज यू नो 2 वीक्स अगो हेल्थ कनाडा अप्रूव्ड अनदर टूल दैट वी हैव इन आवर टूल बॉक्स टू हेल्प अस मैनेज दिस पेंडेमिक एंड दैट इज अ मेडिकेशन कॉल्ड पैक्सलोविड व्हिच इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू ड्रग्स निरमेट्रोवीर एंड रिटोनोवीर रिटोनोवीर and it uh, was given uh, what one of the things that we needed to do was uh, uh, get a better understanding of who would best be suited for this drug here in British Columbia and how we could use it with the limited amounts that we received to begin with so our BC COVID-19 therapeutics committee uh, very grateful for all the work they've been doing over this past 2 years uh, they set about uh, trying to come up with our, our rational approach to how we're going to use this this is another positive step forward in our covid-19 journey and the treatment is specifically for people who are at highest risk of having more severe illness and hospitalization and it needs to be started within 5 days of symptom onset so for that of course we need to make sure that we have testing available for people so we've been aligning both uh, the limited supply we have about 4000 treatment courses of this these medications um with our testing strategy as well and i'm very grateful for the infectious disease teams in each of our health authorities we have developed a hub and spoke model so that this medication can be available through our infectious disease teams and they are able to identify people who are uh, for this very initial supply of medication uh, who are most at risk and who we can get it to in, in that critical period of time and you will recall to uh, fridays ago we presented a heat map and we use that information to identify those people in British Columbia who are more at risk of of requiring hospital care and uh, we've identified that it is essentially the people who are in our critically extremely vulnerable groups 1 and 2 so those are those people who uh, have immune compromising conditions because of medications that they're on because of uh, having had a transplant or undergoing certain cancer therapies 